I agree that Google uh, Google Glass is a good product um, or an interesting product. I'm not sure really where it's going to go. My point about the drift was that I really think that's where we're going to go towards um, for a variety of reasons. But the primary reason I see is I do see a augmented reality or what I would call a combinatorial reality where you're creating, you're taking input from the real world and putting it into a virtual world. And you can do all the things you can do in Google Glass except for you have a lot more control. The downside in why Google Glass is a logical first step is that you need to make sure your controls are spot on. I mean your real world has to correlate with your virtual world. And you want to have that sort of correlation because then you can use the real world to create a total immersive experience with physical. You can have water, you can have all the environmental factors that you have in the real world um, in your virtual world. So even, but by you not actually seeing what it really is, it creates it more immersive, kind of like a carnival ride in the real world just by augmenting the in input. So I do see a total immersive experience as being more powerful and having more legs than the Google Glass, which I think is sort of a limited business practice, you know, and, and it may show up in a variety of different things. I, I think the idea is interesting. I think the technology needs to be perfected. But I think in the end, we're going to go to total immersive type of things. And the Google Glass will kind of disappear and say, well, what was that? But that's my opinion.